Number 54. From the phase diagram for water, which is this uh, little diagram right here, figure 10.31, determine the state of water at 60 degrees Celsius and 50 kilopascals. Okay, so this might look like a little bit of a weird graph, but I promise you it's very easy to understand. Now, the first thing is look at your X and Y coordinates. The X coordinate here is temperature and the Y coordinate is pressure in kilopascals. And that's exactly what they gave us here. They gave us 60 degrees Celsius and the unit for the temperature in the X axis is degrees Celsius. So this 60 degrees Celsius is basically your X coordinate and the 50 kilopascals is your Y coordinate. So in essence, we're basically looking for a point here of 60 comma 50. Okay, so let's go for it. Um, maybe we'll do temperature first. It doesn't really matter where you start. So I'm going to go on my x-axis and try to find out where 60 is. Now it's always good to have a middle marker just so that you're estimating properly. We don't really have to get the, the correct spot on value. We just have to be in the, in the ballpark here. So here's zero all the way to 100. And it seems like, let's see, if I did zero to 100, maybe the, the, um, the values would be, maybe here would be 50. That looks about right. So let's just draw this all the way up here. There you go. Let's just move this over a little bit. Okay. Actually, we're not even in 50. We just wanted to get the middle marker. 60 would be a little bit over than 50. So maybe 60 would be right here. And that's the line that I'm going to draw all the way up. Okay. Let's just move this over a little bit. Thank goodness for technology. So we're down to two out of the three states. Our water can either be in the vapor form, AKA the gas, if it's in the brown, or if it's in this like lavender color, uh, it could be a liquid. Now the 50 kilopascals will tell us where we're at. So 50 would probably be, or definitely will be in between 0.6 and 101. Now probably, let's see, 50, if I just guesstimate that this is close to zero and this would be like 100, the middleman would be 50 kilopascals. So maybe something like here, 50. Okay, let's go over. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh my goodness. Actually, we're a little bit up if I use my, aha, sneaky, sneaky on them. There, X marks the spot. But do you see, maybe I'll do like a little circle here. Let me get rid of that. Oh boy. <laughs> I got too excited. But I am right in there. I, well, the water just past the gas phase and now it's a liquid. It's in the lavender section. So this is telling us that in these conditions, the water would be in the liquid phase. And that's all there is for this question. Okay. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Thank you for viewing the video. And I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Okay. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.